Founded in the 12th century as a small fishing village, Amsterdam has been the capital of the Netherlands since 1815. Known as the city of bicycles and canals, this fascinating city is one of the top tourist destinations in Europe, where you can spend fun and interesting days thanks to its endless array of leisure and cultural offerings. In addition to visiting its main tourist attractions, this city is perfect for getting lost in its neighborhoods filled with a great atmosphere of tolerance and multiculturalism, making it an example for other countries and a place where you would surely love to live. Amsterdam, known as the Venice of the North, boasts over 100 kilometers of canals, more than 1,000 bridges, and more than 2,000 houseboats, some of which are located in the historic center, bordered and surrounded by its four most famous canals, Singel, Herringracht, Prinsengracht, and Kiesersgracht. If you have limited time, one of the best things to do in Amsterdam is to stroll along the Singel Canal and especially the Herringracht, in the charming Jordan neighborhood, where you'll find the most elegant and charming houses. Additionally, crossing bridges and enjoying a drink on the canalside terraces is a delightful experience, and it's worth visiting a houseboat, such as the Houseboat Museum, to learn about the advantages and disadvantages of living in one. While strolling along the Singel Canal, you will come across the famous Floating Flower Market or Blomenmarkt, another essential place to visit in Amsterdam. The history of this market, built on barges floating on the water, dates back to 1883 when boats laden with flowers arrived daily for sale at this very spot. It's important to note that the Netherlands is famous for the quality of its flowers, especially tulips, so don't be surprised to find a wide variety of them at this market. Additionally, buying some tulip bulbs is one of the most typical and original souvenirs you can take from Amsterdam, and they will help you remember your time in the city. The Anne Frank House, located on the banks of the Prinsengracht Canal in the charming Jordan neighborhood, is one of the most moving and essential places to see in Amsterdam. Behind this museum-turned building, and Frank's family lived in hiding for two years during the Nazi occupation of the city in World War II. During her confinement, and Frank wrote her famous diary, which was later published by her father, Otto Frank, the only survivor from the hiding place. After visiting the Anne Frank house, you can take a pleasant stroll through the Jordan neighborhood, an old and picturesque Jewish neighborhood. One of its tourist attractions is the Westerkirk Church, Renaissance style with a tall tower, perfect for enjoying views of the entire city. Next to this church, you'll find a beautiful statue of Anne Frank and some of the best restaurants to eat in Amsterdam. The Van Hoel Museum, which houses the most extensive collection of the brilliant Dutch painter, is another of the most interesting places to visit in Amsterdam. Inside this museum, you will find over 200 paintings and 400 drawings from different periods of one of the greatest painters in history, including masterpieces like The Bedroom in Arles, The Potato Eaters, or Sunflowers. After leaving the flower market, you can head to the city center through the commercial street Kelberstraat until you reach Dam Square, the most important and lively square in Amsterdam. Surrounded by buildings such as the Royal Palace, the New Church, Madame Tussauds Wax Museum, and the luxury department store de Bijenkorf, this square is filled with tourists every day sitting on the steps surrounding the National Monument, a 22-meter-high obelisk that pays homage to Dutch soldiers who died in World War II, or enjoying the terraces of numerous bars. In front of the Oud Kirk, on the ground, there is a bronze plaque depicting a hand grabbing a breast. A sign that you are in the heart of the red light district, another of the most surprising places to visit in Amsterdam. Famous for its lively nightlife, sex shops, red lights, and open windows where prostitutes offer their services, this district concentrated on the banks of the Voorburgwal and Achterburgwal canals leaves no one indifferent, considering that prostitution is legalized in Amsterdam and taxed. Although it may seem like a lawless neighborhood, everything is perfectly organized and monitored, so you should not be afraid to walk around at night, but always with respect and courtesy towards the women who provide their services and without taking photos of the windows or them. Many coffee shops are also concentrated in this district, such as the famous Hunter's Cafe and Bulldog, 
where you can legally smoke marijuana or have a soft drink, although the sale of alcohol and tobacco is prohibited. To conclude your visit to the Red Light District, you can also visit the Faguangshan Buddhist Temple or dine at the Unique Martins Table, a local host's house that prepares magnificent homemade dishes. If you're enjoying our content, give us a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to receive more content like this. If you still have time to spend in Amsterdam, we recommend three more stops. This eco-friendly cafe is a perfect spot for summer. You can enjoy a beer, local vegetarian food, and hang out in a hammock on the terrace by the water. This house was built in the year 1622 by a wealthy merchant named Nicholas Sohia and is located on the Kieser's Grakrat Canal. The house is easy to recognize due to the four sphinx images protruding in relief on its facade. Nowadays, this building perfectly represents the early 17th century architecture in the city and is a shining example of a double house. Our last stop in Amsterdam, before moving on to explain some of its most interesting curiosities, will be the Heineken experience. The first distillery of the world-famous Heineken beer was located, now converted into a museum. During a tour inside, you will interactively learn about the entire beer-making process and its expansion to almost all countries around the world, some curiosities such as why it is green, and its old fermentation tanks, ending with a tasting. Did you know that Amsterdam has more bicycles than people? Well, it's true. It is estimated that there are around 900,000 bicycles in the city, while the population is 882,633 inhabitants. Amsterdam is known as the Venice of the North, thanks to its nearly 400 canals, the entire city is surrounded by water, giving it a unique ambience. If you look at the windows of houses, you'll rarely find blind sars they are seldom used here. The demonym for someone from Amsterdam is Amsterdammer, and almost everyone in the Netherlands speaks English, especially the young people. Stroopwafel cookies are one of the most emblematic sweets in the country, a prime example of Dutch excellence, and very popular among those with a sweet tooth. They consist of two thin layers of cookie with syrup in the middle. The caramel filling can vary, but the traditional recipe uses brown sugar, butter, and cinnamon. This charming and popular legend features King Louis Bonaparte, who was placed on the throne of the Netherlands, which was then the Batavian Republic since the Revolution, by his brother, the legendary Napoleon Bonaparte. In those years, Napoleon was granting kingdoms to his relatives as if they were common gifts, like ties or watches, it was a matter of purchasing power. On June 5, 1806, the Republic was renamed the Kingdom of Holland. Louis tried to win the goodwill of his subjects and learn to speak Dutch. He even called himself, Lodwig Guy, and according to a widely spread story, he introduced himself saying, Ik ben Konijn van Holland, attempting to say, I am the King of Holland. However, due to his clumsy handling of the language, what he actually said was, I am the Rabbit of Holland. This, of course, caused much amusement among the locals, and since then, Louis Bonaparte became known as the Rabbit King. Amsterdam is an open and tolerant city that blends a rich culture with people of simple habits. This city preserves and offers its history like no other, providing you with a unique experience that will surely hold a special place in your album of unforgettable travels. That's it for our extraordinary walk. Let us know how you liked it in the comments section and tell us which new destination you'd like to discover with us. Until the next adventure.